What do you think? This is a specialty dish I learned to make that's perfect for camping. Mm-hmm. It really hits the spot. You're a great cook, Mulani. Karia helped out quite a bit, so she deserves some credit, too. No, no. I'm just happy I was able to help out. scary to camp out at night. Don't worry. Remember the record player I bought? Let me go turn it on. Listen. Not bad, right? Wow, so it really works! Paimon thought you were just playing it for good luck! My parents told me that most of the valuable experience from our ancestors is hidden in various customs. It's always better to trust our traditions. Ah, guess that makes sense. In a sense, this trip to the mysterious island is also a custom left behind by the first chief of the tribe. I wonder what kind of experience he's trying to share with us. Yeah, Paimon would like to know too! Even though I've heard my parents tell stories since I was little, I actually don't know too much about him. It's said that he was the first person to make a map of Natlan. And even the first person to become friends with the Koholosaurus. That sounds pretty amazing! Yeah. There isn't a place in Natland that he didn't visit. Even the most remote parts bear his footprints. Even now, no one has even come close to his reputation and status as a guide. His trip to the mysterious island is the most legendary of all his accomplishments. But oddly enough, after returning from the mysterious island, he laid aside his yearning for adventure and chose to settle down. That's how the tribe was founded. It really makes me wonder what the journey meant to him. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> uh a, a, a camping trip shouldn't be this stuffy and quiet. Everyone needs to help make it more lively. How about this? Before we rest for the night, let's have a bonfire party! If we're going to go plunging into that whirlpool tomorrow, then wouldn't it be best to try to rest and conserve energy now? Now's not the time to be a party pooper. You ought to agree to ideas from the one who rescued you today. Yeah, she's right! All right. So what do the rules stipulate for a bonfire party? Rules? <laughs> a bonfire doesn't have any rules. Everyone just needs to have a good time. How about this? I'll ask everyone a question, and then we'll take turns saying what's on our mind. Okay, sounds fun enough. So, for the first question, what's the purpose of a journey? Oh, we were just talking about this. Let's hear everyone's ideas, and maybe we can figure out what the first chief was thinking back when he made the trip. Paimon can go first. If you ask Paimon what the purpose of a journey is, It'd definitely be about treasure, and all kinds of delicious food! And, most importantly, it's about making the trip together with your companions! Yes, I can't agree more! Okay, next person. How about you, Traveler?
You sure are taking your time thinking about it. Oh, I get it. You must have passed through many nations before making it to Natlan, right? It's quite possible that your experience traveling is more than what I have as a guide. It's understandable that you can't explain it off the top of your head. Why don't I circle back to you later? You can tell me once you have a clear answer. Next? Let's hear what Karya has to say. Me? If you ask about my travels... Well, this is actually my first time traveling. So I don't have anything useful to contribute. That doesn't matter. This is a party around the bonfire, not some research seminar. <laughs> Alright. If I had to say what the meaning of a journey is, I'd say it provides an opportunity for true companionship. Before you reach the destination, you don't need to think about anything outside the trip itself. As long as you stick together with your companions, you won't have any trouble to worry about. Yeah, I get it. I'm on two! Uh-huh. I hope that didn't sound too silly. <clears throat> Alright, now it's Varamdra's turn. Alright, if you insist. In my opinion, our goals and dreams in life are all in pursuit of what we call results. The so-called journey is but a path that leads to these results. So, the greatest meaning of a journey lies in managing to find the right result. Not sure I completely get what you mean. There's nothing difficult to understand. It's the same as the decision of your first chief. He must have discovered enough valuable results after visiting the mysterious island to decide that he should end his journey. Once you've achieved the results you want, any additional journeys would become all but meaningless. Um... Before coming here, someone had stolen the results of one of my research projects. All that person had to do was sign his name on my achievements, and he was able to take all of the honors. All my effort vanished into the air as though it never existed. Do you understand now, Misguide? Without results, the journey is meaningless. I sympathize with your situation, but I'm afraid I can't agree with your take. I don't need your sympathy. As long as I can reach the mysterious island and find the correct results, my pain and struggles will become just another insignificant part of the process. What happened during the day already proved that my theories were wrong, so I'm willing to trust your judgment. I apologize for our previous argument. I must make it to the mysterious island, and if I have to entrust my life to someone else to achieve that goal, then so be it! Was that actually supposed to be an apology? Because it sounded kind of awkward. Actually, there is a saying among the guides of the people of the Springs. If the goal of the journey was to reach the destination, then you should have never left the house to begin with. Because the final destination of every journey is your home. It would be disrespectful of my duties as a guide if I were just taking tourists straight to where they wanted to go. It's my hope to also make everyone feel happy along the way to their destination. That is what I would truly call a journey. And that is my answer. Just as you don't agree with me, I can't agree with your point of view either. I'm not too worried about that. After all, another purpose of traveling is to help people understand each other better. What sort of logic is that? Alright, that's it for this round. Since it's still early, how about we tell some horror stories next? Huh? Oh, now Paimon's scary. <sighs> Paimon slept so well. Oh, Mulani and the others seem to be up already. Let's go see what they're up to.
just in time. I was about to go look for you. What the? You already caused the whirlpools to reappear again? We're in luck. The phlogiston nodes were recharged by dawn. I had Karia and Varamdra control the nodes this time, and we were able to quickly unlock the mechanism. We were practicing all morning so they could get the hang of controlling them. Oh, it seems after apologizing you've already become trusted members of the team. <sighs> Is now really the time to be teasing us? Don't forget that the whirlpools won't last all day. He's right. We should really hurry over to the massive whirlpool again. Even though we had this discussion yesterday, I still want to double check. You all trust me, right? You bet! Okay, then let's go! Swallowed some water. <laughs> so scary. Uh, what is this place? I can't believe it. There are subterranean caverns under the water. Mulani was right. Let's see where this cave leads. Come with me. We need to head downward? Okay. Don't be afraid, everyone. Jump down with me! Caves were formed by volcanic activity. I see. Then the spirit waves were affecting lava deep underground. Altering the lava's flow created temporary holes which allowed us to follow the water's current and enter this underground space. Yes, it can all be explained in theory now. Are all scholars from Sumeru like this? I'm hard to say. But can there be an island in this kind of underground space? It appears we haven't reached our destination yet. Let's keep going, everyone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, what's that light? Let's keep going. We'll be able to see more clearly up ahead. Watch your step. Follow closely, everyone. Let's ride! Heads up! These volcanic caves aren't very stable, so watch out for falling rocks. around together and see what we can find. Very well. It would indeed be useful to collect some environmental samples here. Strike a pose! nothing unusual about that. This is spinel fruit, which often grows around places with lava. Wait, it is a little strange. This isn't ordinary spinel fruit. It's the same as the one on this talisman. Isn't that the talisman your teacher gave you? Yes. In which case, could Uncle New have been here before? But he clearly told me that he'd never made it to the mysterious island. Hmm, I'll be sure to ask him about it once we get back. There's so much lava! And it's getting pretty hot! The lava here doesn't look very stable. I'm afraid we can't stay here for long. From here, the light seems to be getting brighter. Speaking of which, where is that light coming from? A distant light. Wait, there seems to be a mark that matches that on the map. Misguide. It seems Varandra has also discovered something. I've got it! I've got it! Do you see that golden light in the distance? I'm positive that's the mysterious island. That's where we should go next! Really? I'm a scholar from the Academia Spantama Darshan. I specialize in ores and minerals. When I first heard about the legend of the mysterious island, I took note of its description. One exaggerated description I heard was that it's an entire island that shines like gold. What it was actually referring to was an extremely rare mineral known as vulcanite. Under certain environmental conditions, large amounts of lava are quickly cooled, which then results in this ore. Since the ore can't be moved in time, it begins to accumulate, resulting in the alluring golden glow. If I'm not mistaken, there'll be a large pool of lava up ahead, and the mysterious island will be floating on the lava. An entire island of vulcanite ore! So you mean we really found the mysterious island? Rejoice! Even a small piece of that ore will be priceless! Really? Wait, Paimon. We should head back now. Uh, why? What are you saying? This map is covered with symbols and riddles, but there's one thing that's written clearly. When you see the golden light, then go the opposite way. What you just said may be correct, but that golden place isn't the island that my ancestors once visited. 
Are you joking? You expect me to turn back now? But... Muolani's judgment has always been... right. If she says head back... then we should head back. We can't be fooled by the thought of treasure. You thought I'm after treasure? <laughs> oh, he's acting weird again. After my previous findings were stolen, I began a new area of research. And this ore is the core of my research. As long as I can bring this ore back, my theories will be proven beyond any doubt, and I will be able to reclaim everything I have lost. To me, this ore is the result that must be obtained. Otherwise, all those hardships along the way will be rendered completely meaningless. Don't you understand? As we agreed before, please trust my judgment. Why? Are you wary of me? Now that we've confirmed that the legendary treasure really exists, you don't want outsiders to take it, do you? She's not that kind of person, Baramdra. The result is right before my very eyes! I won't give up here! Oh no! He went running in! How can he do that? Not good. We must stop him! Uh, is it just Paimon or is the ground shaking? Monsters. Looks like the lava here is becoming active again. This guide. Karamdra. He... He'll be trapped by the lava. We need to hurry and take care of these monsters. I'll be right back. What are you doing, Mulani? I can use my surfboard on the lava for a short period of time, but it will be a lot spicier than surfing on water. But that's way too risky! Okay then, we'll take care of things here! Mulani, we'll take care of things here! How can I get Verondra to stop running off? It's right there! 
I'm almost there! Look carefully. You can't get through the lava. You'll die if you try to make your way forward. Why don't you just give up? Why don't I give up? Well, I might not be able to do it, but what about you? Me? You have the ability to move over the lava. If you try, maybe you can reach the island and earn the highest honor for a guide. That way, you'll have the results you need to prove yourself, and even Ko'olo won't be able to question your abilities anymore. You want to know why I won't give up, but I'm asking why you'd give up such an opportunity. The lava is rising! If I take this risk, then how will the others get back? Did you forget? I already gave you my answer. You! Come with me. No! They're back! I've brought him back. He's fortunate that he wasn't seriously hurt. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much, Miss Guide. You're welcome. It's getting dangerous here, so we need to find a way out. No, I refuse! I can still stand! Let me go back! Seriously? How can you be so childish at a time like this? Varondra! Whoa. I've always believed that you're the most talented person I've ever met. Even if your research was stolen and you didn't get any credit, I never doubted it. I believe that even if you won't obtain any results this time, you'll still succeed in your new research, because no one can take your talent away. So, I won't allow my dearest senior to die here because of his own stubbornness. Kari. She's finally opening up. And it seems like she's just the person we need to talk some sense into him. Mulani, the lava is almost here! Don't panic. It seems like the trick that Uncle New taught me is finally going to be put to use. No time to explain. Just get on! Got it, got it! Everyone okay? Let's take a head count. One, two, three, four, five. Whew, we're all here. We escaped danger and made it back alive. That's what I call good luck. I think our fortune can only get better from now on. Oh, really? What's the point? We still didn't reach the mysterious island. Hey, don't look so depressed. You'll scare our good luck away. Actually, according to the map, we still have one more leg of the journey. Oh? Then which way should we go? W wait, aren't we back where we started? Come on, let's go to the statue. appeared on the statue after I touched it. Really? Let Paimon try! Congratulations, Guide from the Future. You have completed a challenge that even I found ambitious. And now, I finally have the chance to tell you my story. You may have heard legends describing me as the best guide in all of Natlin. But in the beginning, I was more like a treasure hunter. I chased results, facing countless dangers to prove myself. 
Time after time, I ventured where others didn't dare, never failing to bring back rare treasures. My fame was second to none. And yet, I never felt satisfied. So I found a new goal, a challenge that no one had ever achieved before. The legendary Mysterious Island. Another chance to prove myself. Unfortunately, my friends who had traveled with me all this time had grown tired of my nonsense. Instead of praise, they now showered me with words of caution. Perhaps this journey was one that I had to complete alone. But luckily, they decided to once again put up with my antics. Just as before, they came up with ingenious ways to help me move forward. They never let me down, even when I had to place my life in their hands. And they always trusted my judgment, even when it took a lot of courage. In the end, just as ever, we found the result we came for. But... That golden glow was baiting me towards death. It was the glow of a rare ore, but it was also the warning sign of an impending eruption. Maybe if I pressed on and put my life on the line, I could get the result I wanted. And yet, there was a chance I'd lose something even more precious. But don't worry. In the end, I made the same choice as you. Everyone was disappointed that their illustrious guide had, for once, returned empty-handed. But seeing everyone survive, I felt satisfied for the first time in my life. Perhaps the treasure I had really been searching for had been right here with me all along. So, I decided to end my long journey and find a safe place for my hard-earned treasure. To me, this is the real mysterious island. These must have been the words the first chief left for those that would come after him. In that case, the mysterious island from the legend is actually where the people of the springs are living now! I remember now that the elders once told me our tribe was originally founded on a small island. Later, the coastlines changed, allowing the island to become what it is today. The journey to the mysterious island starts exactly where it ends. Yeah. I think I understand the choice he made now. The golden glow is an indicator of when the lava will periodically erupt. Hmm. If that's the case, the principle of vulcanite formation implies that it will only appear at the start of fierce lava activity, and the flowing lava will quickly swallow it and make it all disappear without a trace. This means that there's zero possibility of ever bringing the ore back. Are the results I've been chasing all this time only an illusion that can be seen from far away? Haraldra. Our journey is not yet over. As we agreed, please come back to the people of the springs with me. Then we'll officially complete this journey. Fine. I suppose that would also count as some kind of result. Don't be so down. I have a feeling that the next answer I'm looking for will also be useful to you. I don't remember, Sal. There's still something important we need to ask Mualani's teacher about.
We're back! Ah, Mulani. It's good to see you again. I always knew you'd return safe and sound. Uncle, I've completed the journey to the mysterious island. I'm here to return the talisman. But you still have a question you wish to ask me, right? Yes. You've been there before, haven't you? Yes, I have. If that's the case, then you've gone on the same journey. But why didn't you tell anyone? Because... I made a choice. A choice? Did you notice that the hidden inscriptions on the stone tablet disappeared as soon as you finished reading them? Oh yeah, you're right! There's a special paint on the statue that would change color when it comes into contact with volcanic dust. Only those who have been to that underground space will be contaminated by the dust and be able to see the hidden message. But once the dust starts to wear off, the hidden inscription will disappear again. And this is the choice that the first chief left to us. If you choose to boast about your deeds, you will receive the highest honor, but the legend of the mysterious island would be destroyed as well. If you choose to remain silent, then the mysterious island will remain a legend and continue to attract the next generation of young guides to rise to the challenge. In the end, my companions and I all chose the latter. Oh, I get it now. But not being able to tell anyone after accomplishing such a feat. People like Ko'olo will still look down on you. Are you really okay with that? But have you noticed that Ko'olo, who claims to have been to the island, hasn't actually completed the trip? What? Right. Hymer remembers that Ko'olo said that he went to the mysterious island alone. But there's no way he could have been able to use the spirit ways! He deliberately recommended the client to find Mualani, probably because he thought she wouldn't be able to reach the mysterious island. That way, Mualani wouldn't be able to expose him. As guides, we are not adventurers, let alone treasure hunters. The greatest responsibility of a guide is to take the client to their destination safely. But in the process, we also gain much skill and experience at overcoming danger. This allows us to go to places that no one else can reach and even find treasures that no one else can find. Many guides gradually lose sight of their true beliefs and intentions in the process and end up becoming like Koalo. They end up becoming more like thieves who would rush to the other side of the lava lake regardless of the consequences rather than good guides who would turn around and save their friends. This is why the first chief left behind the legend and the map. To lure younger generations into taking up the challenge, thereby teaching them everything he had learned. Aside from me, many other tribe members have also traveled to the mysterious island. And just like me, they understood the first chief's intentions. So they've also made pacts with their companions choosing to give up the results that would prove themselves and give the younger generation the chance to continue the challenge. You've all given up on the results. Sir, I've given up on merely one result. I haven't given up on everything. Given her talent and qualifications, Mualani was well within her rights to choose the top-ranked guide Kohlo as her teacher, but she chose me. I believe I was able to cultivate such an outstanding student and witness her completion of the legendary challenge precisely because I didn't become someone like Koalo. If instead of looking at one single journey we look at my entire career as a guide, I'd say I have not returned empty-handed. What about you? Hmm. Karia? I've come up with a new research topic. Would you like to continue working as my assistant? You're the same as always, Varamdra. You always have to find evidence before coming to a conclusion. I... <sighs> In any case, I can't give you an answer right now. Karia! Because... 
You haven't prepared the proposal yet. Shouldn't you finish that first before recruiting assistants? How could you forget? Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'll certainly prepare all the necessary details. But I've always found your proposals fascinating, so I'm sure I won't be able to turn you down this time either. Karia, given that I have been presented with new evidence, I've come up with a very general theory. I can use the ideas from the Chief's speech to express it. Perhaps the treasure I'm seeking has been by my side the entire time. No. T to be more precise, it's been with me even before I set out on this journey. I understand, Varandra. It appears this guest has also found his answer. It seems he's finally put two and two together. There's nothing to worry about. It's just like Karia said. I can start some new research and reclaim everything I've lost. But it seems he's still as stubborn as before. Now, it's your turn to make the choice, Mulani. But, Uncle Mu, I'm sure anyone who can complete the journey to the island would make the same choice, right? Very good. Then there's nothing more I can teach you. Here, take this talisman again. You can pass it on to your student in the future. Looks like it's also our time to say goodbye. You've taken great care of us throughout our journey. As thanks, I'm also willing to keep the journey a secret. Then remember, the next time you come to visit the people of the Springs, you know where to find friends for help. Friends? I suppose we are theoretically friends now, yes. When I publish my next paper, I'll be sure to add you to my list of acknowledgements. Well, that's one way to thank someone. Then Varandra and I will be taking our leave. I truly hope we'll get to see you all again someday. Okay, bye-bye! You're back already. So, as a new student, did you manage to find the mysterious island? Uh, what are you doing here all of a sudden? Well... I found something even more precious than the island. Two friends that I can trust with my life. You... <clears throat> Seems you really learned a lot from new about how to make yourself feel better. I knew it. How could anyone ever reach the island with so many hindrances? Mm-hmm. Huh, what? Why are you all looking at me like that? The elders of the tribe also gave me that same look. What's that supposed to mean? New! I've already proven that I'm stronger than you. I've been to even more dangerous places and found far more precious treasures. I've even been to... The Mysterious Island! Why do you still look at me as if my words don't bother you at all? Koholo, even if you had never been to the island, no one would deny your abilities. But as for what we would deny about you, <laughs> only you can find the answer to that. Me? <laughs> so now, our trip to the mysterious island is officially finished, right? Yeah, but I have one more place I want to show you. Come with me. Mulani. She has quite a sense of ceremony. I'm sure she'll want to give you something as a memento. I suggest not keep her waiting.
This is the place. From what I've heard, if we take a group photo here, it'll bring us good luck. I'm sure of it. What made you think of taking a group photo? Well, we completed our trip to the mysterious island together, so of course we need a memento to keep. <sighs> You've earned the greatest honor for a guide. Yet, you can only walk away with a photo of your friends. You're pretty amazing, Mulani. You really sacrificed a lot for your tribe. Would you call it a sacrifice? Mm, I don't really think so. Actually, after hearing Uncle New's answer, I have this vague feeling that... after all that we've been through together, the results don't matter anymore. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't know if you get me or not. No, I get it. Traveler! So that's your answer, huh? To the meaning of a journey? It's a good one. Then let's make this group photo yet another part of your journey. Three, two, one. Kaholasaur! I wonder when the next journey will begin. Osmanthus.